Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at how to use the Microsoft OneNote, which is a digital notebook. You can have multiple of books inside it and even subsections. You can organize all your thoughts in one place. So it's a one cross-functional notebook for all of your note taking. It's a digital app that manage all your thoughts. You can pen down all your thoughts within a book or within a section or within a given subsection. And you can have it for yourself your world organized get organized in notebooks you can divide into sections and pages okay with easy na navigation and such okay you will always find your notes right where you left them and then one of the most important part of it is you can find you can share it to people and you can it to get updated within uh, you can sync it around your different devices maybe with the phone or with your pc once you sign in and start working on it, it's going to be automatically be saving. So you gather your thoughts in one place. You have the option to ink, to share and collaborate with others. You can share with someone and he will log in and write to you back. And you have a bunch of other things that you can do. You can share, you can clip and save, you can tag, you can organize your things, you can mix media and so on. Okay, one not in education. You can do all sort of things with it. It has various function in addition to even features like the Microsoft Word features that you have. You can have multiple and it's available for Windows app and iOS even. Right. So usually by default, it comes with Windows 10 and even Windows 11. It comes with Windows 10 and Windows 11. So whichever one you have, you can easily use it. Uh, you can usually activate or, uh, or try to use OneNote from it. You can just search for it and log in. Alternatively, you can come online to Microsoft.com. You can see it, OneNote taking up. You can see just search OneNote and it will bring you over here. So you can sign in and just get used to it. But for now, let's let's say on my Windows 11, we already have it. So we just search for OneNote. You just search for OneNote. And you can see it here, OneNote. You just click on it and just follow the process to log in with your Microsoft account. So you can just start by writing, but you can come over here to this section to see the different engagements. Okay, so these are the different notebooks that you have. These are the different sections of each notebook. You see right now, my public speaking engagement have no section and it has no page. But when you check on Abdurashid's notebook, you can see it has some uh, sections and it has some pages. Okay, so you have some software development, uh, tips and tricks, you have speeches and you can navigate even to what tips and tricks. So you can check out the uh, pages from here and you can see the preview over here. The same thing goes to uh, a speech contest. This is a book. You can easily add a book by just clicking on this and you can add a book. You just name the book. Let's say YouTube 2021. Create the book. Not now. You can invite people if you want. You say YouTube 2022 and you can see you have a folder called YouTube 2022. So let's say you add a section to YouTube 2022 and we have different sections so for example we have and we add more you can say rename this and we can add one more you can say okay so we have uh, about four sections within this book so right now you can say we can stay at the software development and you can come to the page over here and just add the page okay so you click on this and you add a page so let's say we are working on the first page you just right click to rename it and then you can call it maybe Camtasia Camtasia tutorials All right and down here so uh, the first thing you will see is that the platform kind of look like Microsoft Word in that you have the home tab with all the text features okay you have even format painter you have clipboard you have copy and paste and you have a bunch of other things uh, like basic text editing features like the font style uh, font type uh, font sizes and, and, and all that you have different kind of things head styles heading styles heading style one you can see a bunch of them you can just uh, check around and you have different kind of tags that you can tag your content for ease of identification all right so you have different kind of them you can find tags you can uh, to do tags you can enable to do tags and you can uh, email a page if you want from here you can email to someone okay meeting details if you can organize a meeting 
you can put the details here you choose the a meeting the meeting details right away from here so you can insert different kind of content you can insert spacing when you have a text for example let's say we have a text and we just paste it over here we just paste this text we can adjust the text and we can adjust play around with the text box and all and we can bring in table if you want to put in table you can just come over here just like the way you add table to your microsoft word you can just specify the cell detail how many how many columns how many rows once you're satisfied you just put it and you can have you can type within the cells maybe you can say serial number name and email okay so this is just maybe uh for your uh, participation you want to write details of people and then you can have still on the home tab you have the option to play around with the text you can select the text and you can change the different features just like the way we have you can play around with the coloration and you could just bold all if you want you can select all you can italize all and you can change the highlighter you can use different highlights to showcase importance and you can play around with the text sizing right now you have to select then you can make it 20 all right and you can increase the sizing so that you can have it in a good place and you can play around with the text you can uh, play around with the header okay so assuming you have this is about microsoft so you can say header and maybe you don't want this highlighter here you can say no color and maybe you can have another one about one note and you can see also no color or you can give it a different color same so you can make this a header one and you can just select this and make it a header two okay so it all boils down to you you can play around with the text accordingly you can put into do list and tags that you can easily remember you can insert different kind of tables like we've explained you can insert printouts you can insert attachments you can insert spreadsheets from excel and all that you can import you can start a new excel spreadsheet also from here you can uh, insert screen capture maybe you have captured a screen using any of the screen capture software you can easily bring it in okay and paste it here you can bring in pictures for example let's say we are bringing in this picture and then you can just come over here you select a picture and you bring it in okay you can select and resize it accordingly all right you can resize and you can position it to anywhere because the the spacing or the page is endless you can always uh, put in your content accordingly to any place you can navigate and then you can use other spaces as well and you can uh, bring in online pictures also if you want just click and you can bring in online pictures right now you have series of them okay you can use this bing search search engine or you can use the onedrive personal uh, onedrive if you have uh, images that you have kept on there so let's say on the bing search you can search for animals and you can hit enter and you can see some sample images you can see this one i think it kind of looks cool or this one i think also looks fantastic you can start the both of them okay so you can see them over here you're free to uh, kind of look and maybe cut it out you can do ctrl x and then paste it out somewhere so they can be independent and different so you can just click and drag it to somewhere you can click also this one and maybe you could drag it somewhere okay you can reduce the sizing and make it a little bit smaller and you can position them uh, accordingly to wherever you want to position so this is your worksheet you can put in different kind of you can even put video online you can link uh, an object you can bring in even uh, youtube videos for example you can link uh, a document or you can link in a video inside uh, a tick a given text or thereabout okay so you can record an audio or you can record a video depending if you want to record an audio which i mostly use you just click and then you start talking Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. Please remember to subscribe and share our videos with your fellow friends. You click on stop and you can always play back and hear it. Once you click on the audio, you can see the different features to play, the pause, the stop, and then the moving from one clip or one, uh, one, one audio clip to, to the next one. So you just click to hear. Hello and welcome to Epic Mentorship. Please remember to subscribe and share. So that's how it is and um, this is insert this is about insert you could put in date and time and date and time together you can put page templates you have a bunch of them you can check on page templates you can bring in equations 
just like we have in Microsoft Word, you can bring in different kind of equations. You can put them here or you can put them out. You can just come to insert, come to equations and put this long equation. Okay, I think kind of looks cool and you can move it around easily. Okay, still on the insert, you can bring in symbols. You have a bunch of symbols. You can show more to see the different kind of symbols that we have, just like the way we have in Microsoft Word. And you're free to select on anyone. You just click on insert and it was inserted at that location, right? So you can close and then you can draw also. You have a bunch of things that you can draw. Okay, so to the, to the left, you can use the lasso sign. Uh, lasso is used when you want to convert maybe ink to text. Okay, you have inked something. So let's say we, we select any color and we, we ink something. Okay, so assuming we are going to use the, the, the so you want to ink something and then we convert it to text. So let's say we, we select uh, a text and we call it 5x. Okay, so for example, we'll call this 5x and we want to check, we want to uh, ink it, we want to change it to 5x. We can just use the lasso sign. Uh, lasso select, we just select and we can select again. Please not select correctly. We can select again. Okay, once we get it correctly, we can just say ink to, to math. Okay, and it's going to convert it like this. You're free to erase, you're free to write again, we select and correct and so and do so much more. But this is the preview. And once you say insert, it's going to insert it as 5x. So feel free to try it. Down here you have the color theme, color and thickness. You can just select and you can change the color and thickness of the pen and of the highlighter. Okay. So for the pen, you can change the different color. You just select the color and it will change accordingly. You just select this color. You can see the different kind of thickness for that color. And when it same goes to highlighter, when you select a color, you can see the highlighter, the thickness goes on. You select this and you can test. You can say okay, and this goes to it. So once ever you, whenever you want to start writing, you can see the highlighter, and you can change it also if you want. Okay, so you can insert some spacing. You can delete. You can rearrange things, and you can use do ink to math. We just shown how to use it. You can bring in different shapes. Okay, over here you can put in different kind of shapes. You can bring in shapes of different types using these same draw features. Okay, you can bring in a rectangle. And you can check the change the thickness according to the thickness that you have here. Okay, according to the thickness from here. So you have the pan option. You have the pan in hand. You can use the eraser if you don't want anything. You can erase just like that. You can erase and many more. And then you can check on history, recent edits, mark as read, hide authors, uh, find authors, and even notebook recycle bin. You can check on items that you have deleted and you can bring them back easily. You can check on review you can translate a document for example this is an english you can translate into a language so let's say we select this whole text okay let's say translate mini translator translate to english you can change the language okay you choose translate to let's say to to arabic and you say okay and you can select the text okay and you can see now this text has been translated to arabic okay so you can see easily you have translated it to Arabic. So whichever text that you have, you can easily select it and you use the translator and it will help you to translate it to Arabic. And you can copy this out. You can copy this. You can copy or insert directly and you can come to any given place and you can paste it. Okay, you can paste this okay, and you can see it over here. So alternatively, you can do, uh, you can change language over here, set proofreading, uh, proofing language and language preferences. You can check, you can password the document. You can link notes from one note to another, it can be from one notebook to another. You can do that very easily. You can check uh, the spellings easily. And then over here, you have the help menu. You have just like the way you have in the Microsoft Word, all the ribbons are similar to that. You can just feel free to explore. And then you have the playback option in cases when you record a video or an audio. So this is just a brief on how to use the OneNote document. You can easily save this uh, anywhere and it's synchronized automatically with your email address. Once you are working on this, you can synchronize or you can share it with your friends. So there are different customizable features over here. You just feel free to try it. Okay. So to share with your friends, you can come all the way to file and then you can come to share. You can share with meetings or you can share a more notebook or you can get a shareable link. And once you share this link with your friends, 
it's going to automatically uh, tell them that you are working on a project and you want them to participate and they will click and they will participate and they can easily comment while you are commenting or they work while you are working and you can see both of them synchronized okay so you can share with people so all you need to do is to put in your their email or their names okay so let's say we are putting in epic epic mentorship okay so you put in their email and then you write the content so you can just write their email and you write the content for example so once you have this, so you can say require user to sign in before accessing this document or you can just access directly. So if you check on this, it requires the users to sign. If you, if not, then no need for the user to sign. So once you are done, you can click to share and you can edit also to uh, to can view also cannot edit. But right now can edit. OK, so the control can be from here and you can get shareable link. OK, this, are, this is the link. Create a view link. Or create an edit link when you share this link the viewer can only view and you share this link the viewer can also edit this is edit link okay so this is share with meetings so you can share a link not shared with everyone in the meeting you can share in the meeting or you can move notebook from one place to another okay so this sharing option you can always export also in microsoft format or in word document format or in xps in excel format or you can export even as a pdf you can export it as pdf you can export a section you can export a page you can export a section and you can export a complete notebook so you can share it with people to go through and see how you dissect your ideas when delivering or carrying out a project so ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit on how to use the microsoft onenote feel free to try it for yourself there are a bunch of things that you can learn there are a bunch of things that you can experience while dealing with your project while dealing with your data Feel free to try it and let me know your experience what you like whether you like it or not because it's a great tool that can help you get organized get your thoughts together and work much more efficiently if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye